No, oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Now then, this week was pretty crazy. Well, let's say different. But hey, I'm in Dublin and it started with my favorite de-stressing technique of them all, going to a concert. Well, Rock and roll may never die, but we sure do get old. Nevertheless, this was a great weekend in Dublin, going to Croke Park to see ACDC live. Great atmosphere, obviously I can't play the bits from the concert here because you know this would be copyrighted but for those who were there uh, you know great memories for me it was actually the first time seeing ACDC live out of all the bands that I've seen and all the gigs that I've been to so it was really special it was nice and um, great show the lights the energy was really uh, something fascinating it was my first time in Croke Park as well so yeah making memories making new friends really enjoying it and hey it didn't even rain what a surprise for dublin So, while in the previous videos we talked a lot about goals and working and networking as well, things that involve you know, effort and focus and you know, work-related in a sense, and in particular this case with you know, if you're interested in doing a PhD and if you're interested in finding out how I've been able to manage doing that alongside all the things that I'm doing, one of the key important things to have set for yourself is the things that you really enjoy doing. So I wasn't even joking when I said earlier in the video that I do really enjoy going to concerts and it is my favorite de-stressing moment. So this time was ACDC, but this summer I also got to see Pearl Jam again. So it's my favorite band and I really like seeing them live. And I got to see them in Dublin, in Manchester and in Portugal. And for other people it could be just like here. I had one of the mornings of going to the Botanical Gardens in Glasnevin in Dublin. So being on the outdoors, doing something that you like, getting some fresh air, do what really makes you happy. So speaking about things that you love, your work, your research, your studies, whatever you're involved in doing and that you want to do for yourself, for your career, that should be something that you love as well. So when it comes to my research, for example, I love researching about PCOS. I love finding new things. I love creating new information to help those with PCOS and those treating PCOS as well. So that was my own transition from being in clinic to now being in research. And I still feel like I'm contributing towards the, the management and the treatment of PCOS symptoms because now I'm just approaching it from a different angle, which is with using my knowledge, my interests, my goals and research towards helping those people that are involved in managing PCOS symptoms and also giving advice to patients. So it was time to get back to the University of Wolverhampton and getting ready, going back to my room, setting things back up because I've been away from the university for a little while. And this week was going to be very, very important because I would have to prepare my annual progress review, get back in the zone, I guess. And yeah, it was great to see everyone back at Wolverhampton. done and um, look I even dressed to impress I guess and um, yeah really interesting experience obviously my very first 
APR annual progress review. The two independent assessors will now report back to the DOS, which is the Director of Studies, who is my supervisor. And just to add to the nerve wreck, it's a bank holiday. So I will have to wait one extra day because it's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK. So yeah, look, it went well. I'm okay with it. Honestly, it's, it's like any other presentation to me. Um, I'm passionate about my research. My advice to anyone for this is prepare, do it a few times, be familiar with your presentations at a 20 minute presentation and show like the reality of you and how passionate you are about your research and about your work and about your findings and just put it all out there. And you know, you only get this opportunity once in your life. So really go in with enthusiasm and be happy about your results. I know that in my case, like great timing, which is, you know, really nice to see that I was able to show the paper published. Uh, and just as it happens after breaking news, after leaving there in the afternoon, then uh, I got an email to say that the ethics approval was um, granted for the next research project. So I get to start next week, albeit on Tuesday, uh, getting right into the next project for the PhD because now we have ethics approval. So pretty cool, looking forward to enjoying a um, quieter weekend ahead, a long weekend as well. And thanks for everyone being here along the journey. It was a crazy week. I mean, it was exactly it was really exciting week, right? Got to see ACDC, got the paper published and traveling back to uni. And yeah, that would be my, I guess, advice of the week is that um, don't be afraid of showing how much you love something. And you only think about it if you, as if you only have one chance and that was your one chance to present about your work. People are gonna ask questions, not just your assessors, not just at uni, but become comfortable talking about your research and what you're really passionate about. And you never know, someone might say something that will influence the, your direction or give you a different idea to something to progress in a different direction and explore something new for your own research. So yeah, that's my advice for the, the week. And thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for all of you coming along for the journey. Um, you can sense and see that I'm tired. So let's just wrap it up. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs.